welcome to Smellomania. This is a little bit different perfume review channel where, instead of just plainly analyzing the smell, I also try to draw it. Today's video will be all about one of Larike fragrances, which can be found in their discovery set. I picked one random scent and it was first stream of the year. Let's take a look at their official pamphlet. What's this perfume all about? This scent is a combination of grapefruit oil, orange blossom oil and iris concrete absolute. All of Floraiku fragrances have a little haiku, a Japanese style poem about them. First dream of the year, first wish, the milky way above. And indeed, it's a very positive smell. The perfect color to describe it would be orangish yellow, but let's talk about its name a little bit. There's a single Japanese word for the first dream of the year, and it is Hatsuyume. Seeing certain images in your dreams a few nights after the New Year's Eve is said to bring you good luck. That's all very nice and inspiring, but what does first dream of the year really smell like? To my nose, it's an uplifting combination of some very mild lemony cleaner and a pile of fresh laundry. It's a truly unisex fragrance, maybe just a little bit floral, but definitely not much. The smell would be just perfect for spring and summer. To put it short, this fragrance is quite simple, fresh, and it just feels very clean. This is a perfect mood booster and I could undoubtedly call it an uplifting, optimistic perfume. I then went ahead and sketched all the things this smell reminded me of. The initial spray smells just like a grapefruit. Some light bitterness from its citrusy skin emerges. This aspect immediately made me think that this fragrance is a bit more masculine than feminine. However, things get a lot softer very soon. And that's when we enter the fresh laundry phase. By no means this smells like washing powder. No, no, no. It's just that airy, fluffy, fresh feeling that just hugs you. And then this floral aspect emerges. One of my test subjects immediately detected a jasmine note and they were right it's not among the main notes but it's there somewhere deep deep down the last part of this fragrance is of course the weirdest why did i draw an iron well just because this fragrance has hot steam coming from the iron when you're ironing your favorite t-shirt note <laughs> Okay, let's move on and I'll tell you more about that iron. Before diving into my main drawing, I made a few quick sketches to see which composition would work best with my idea. What did I draw? That iron just had to be included into the main piece. First dream of the year is actually classified as a powdery perfume. How unusual is that? Citrusy powder? It smells like that hot steam coming out of the iron. This illusion is always a mix of your detergent and some misty, cozy evaporation. Next, we have a fresh set of linen and two pillows made from grapefruits. When I tried this perfume on myself, it immediately felt a bit masculine because that bitter grapefruit peel emerged. But when I sprayed it on my dearest family member, he felt it was too feminine for him. I guess this perfume perfectly falls into a unisex category. As for that fresh linen, it has been drying in the wind for at least a few days. The fragrance feels airy, windy, sunny, just a perfect combination of the elements. And I also added some tiny flowers to represent that floral aspect. Once again, Floraiku chose just the perfect name for this fragrance. Nothing in here really smells like the night sky, but I just wanted to add this Milky Way landscape to tie everything together. That was all for this beautiful and optimistic creation by Floraiku called First Dream of the Year. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the other one the next week. Bye!